Hey everyone, today we're looking at CNES out of Singapore, a prolific up-and-coming brand whose repertoire includes hand-welted, Goodyear-welted, and Blake-stitched shoes. This look at CNES is a welcome revisit to the Elegant Oxford Review series since last time. It was my pleasure to look at their Goodyear-welted line. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm confident you're going to like the updates present in the pairs we're going to look at today. So let's get this video started. Okay, so uh, let's open these up and take a look. Now, as always, um, I haven't been paid or offered incentives for this review. Companies do send me samples to look at uh, so I can take a look and give you my honest thoughts about it. I think that's the only stipulation I have is that I'm allowed to tell you what I actually think. So. I did look at CNS before. Uh, it's been a couple of years, but I really liked what I saw last time. It was a good, solid shoe. Um, but uh, let's see what we got here. Okay. All right. Like last time, we have a thank you note. Um, you know, this is actually a pretty cool idea. Not only do you say thank you, but it has uh, some information here for, for those who buy. So always nice to see. Obviously not necessary, but uh, it's, it's a nice inclusion. All right. Let's open these up. Okay, nice. Two shoe bags. Nice leather embossed emblem here. Uh, the bags feel like a, a felt material, which I like. I mean, I just don't like one huge bag. I say that in every review, and uh, that's just me. So, <laughs> let's take a look. Uh, Alright. First impression, I already like what I'm seeing. Very nice, very clean. Okay, so let's put that to the side. Hatch grain. So, hatch grain is not natural. <laughs> I didn't know this for the longest time because I'm a dummy. Uh, but pebble grain and hatch grain <laughs> are not natural. They're not found on any animal. Uh, the leather's brought in and then stamped with pebble grain or hatch grain. Uh, or you could tumble leather also to get to pebble grain, but this is hatch grain. This is embossed in-house at CNES. And they did a great job. Um, obviously, it's more casual. I don't know if you'd want an Oxford um, especially like cap toe and hatch grain, but it looks fantastic on derbies and on boots and on bluchers. It's very, very cool to see, and I love the texture. I love how it feels and how it looks. Very rugged, very cool looking. I know I say that word a lot, but it's uh, very pleasing to see. So I'm glad uh, I'm finally getting to see some up close. I don't have any shoes in hatch grain, so very, very cool. Yeah, you can see the texture is a lot stronger here, but uh, it's not annoying texture. It's not ostentatious is not overt it's very subtle and for those with uh, a keen eye they'll see it and they'll definitely notice it very very nice everything's clean and good to go looks like uh, the split toe here is a reverse seam so it's stitched on the inside and I've seen it on a, some some other brands so very cool I just like the way it looks it looks a lot cleaner so let's look at the sole which is definitely <laughs> Man, this is completely different from the last time I saw a pair from CNES. Before it was beveled and nice. I mean, nothing wrong with that. It was great, and, and I definitely praised it for, for its clean work. But this, man, this is very, very awesome looking. It, it looks like a very, very slim waist, two and a half inches, which is great. I mean, it really speaks to the quality of the work, but this is cool. It looks like a single sole, but this double sole on top was cut short. Kind of like a toppy, but made of leather. And then it was designed purposefully to slim on down right down the middle. You know, I've seen other brands do it too. It, it looks great. I mean, you may not like it, and I don't know if it's gonna make it into the style a lexicon that we all know and love, you know, filled with the classic styles, but this is very, very nice. I do appreciate the bold choice to go out and do something like this. Like the embossed emblem here on the leather, stamped in there. It's always very nice to see. Now the heel, man, this is also very unique. Um, I don't know what this is called, and, and this is my mistake for not knowing because I should know it, but I've actually never seen a heel like this. I saw one that looked like a shoe horse, and that was from the World Shoe Making Championship, but this is very nice. Very unique and innovative and cool looking design. I mean, if someone saw this, they would definitely notice it. Um, dovetail heel which is always great. I mean, these prevent you from slipping. If you've ever worn a pair of uh, Florsheim Imperials, the vintage ones with the metal V cleat right here, um, they called it the suicide heel for a reason. You could easily slip and take a nasty fall. I did one time. Um, I was leaving my garage 
and I slipped and fell right on, well, I fell on my back and then my head hit the concrete and it really, really hurt. So <laughs> I always appreciate uh, some rubber here. It does help, believe it or not. Closed channel stitching, blind stitching as it's also called, and this is very clean work. Um, for those who know already or don't know, it's you lift up the leather, you do the, the traditional Goodyear welting stitching, and then you close it back down, and it's very clean. Not necessary, obviously, but it does make it look a lot more streamlined and a lot more regal. Aside from the, the rubber portion here, it's a full leather heel stack. I really do like to see it. Everything's clean. Let's look at the edges here. Very nice and clean. Clean work. No gaps, no ch ch uh, chunks missing, which I do, believe it or not, see on some brands. No cracking. Very smooth. Very, very nice. Contoured. Beautiful shape. It's nice. I mean, there's no doubt about it. Nice tight heel. It's a 270 degree Goodyear welt, which is always great to see. We got the seam back here, but everything's very clean. Very nice work. I want to thank CNS for including the shoe trees. Let me get them out here. Oh, these are lasted, so harder to get out. So, a nice shoe tree. Nice and varnished, which I personally like. Double tube. Very nice. Looks great. I mean, can't complain when you get shoe trees. Huh. Wait. Uh, I'm an idiot. Did I? How did I miss this? <laughs> it says hand sewn welt. Is this shoe hand welted? Did I? How did I miss that? <laughs> Solitaire hand sewn welt construction crafted in Saigon. Wait a second, are these shoes hand welted? You knew about this all along, didn't you? Let me, uh. <laughs> Let me verify. This is totally not expected. One sec. Well, yeah, these are hand welted. And, uh, it's my mistake to think they were good you're welted. Because, surprise, uh, CNS was gracious enough to send me another pair to look at, which will open up right now. And they told me those were hand welted. What a pleasant surprise. I mean, I usually don't like surprises, but this is, uh, <laughs> did not expect that at all. But I should have, I should have known. To be honest, I should have known because this is, uh, definitely different than what I saw last time. Okay, now here is the second pair they sent me. Uh, this is not seen as his fault. This is my son's fault. He touched this box with uh, oatmeal hands and that's dried oatmeal. So <laughs> definitely not seen as his fault. I'll just say this right now. This is probably uh, a very unique shoe. Something I've never owned before in both construction <laughs> and material. So uh, these were really cool to hear about when Alan emailed me. I was super excited. Um, so let's just open them up and take a look. Whoa. Oh, 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 man. Okay, I'm gonna be straight up honest. I've never owned uh, an exotic like this before. <laughs> but just straight up, I've never owned an exotic like this before, a, a lizard skin exotic. And this is just, honestly, I'm speechless. Like, <laughs> I don't know what to say. This is extremely cool. So yeah, I mean, you guessed it. These are a crocodile. I'm telling you in person. Hardcore is <laughs> hardcore is the only word that comes to mind because these are really stunning. Man, these are so cool. I know I keep saying the word cool, but that is the only word that comes to mind. Groovy, awesome, fly. I mean, I don't even know what word to use, but this is just something else and the color is just beautiful it's like a mahogany with beautiful reddish browns and some darkening around the toe by the eyelids i mean this is just something else if you like crocodile i mean this is just something that's completely right up your alley these are obviously uh, my whole cut which is a newer style but it's caught on i mean i i fully believe it's ingrained um it's ingrained with up there with the great styles. So hole cuts are totally, totally in and I don't see them going anywhere. But just the texture, the feel. I mean, this is very nice. 
I'm telling you, I mean, if you're watching this, you've probably seen Crocodile before, so you're making fun of me. But in person, I can see why people like Crocodile. It's just a very impressive looking, it's stunning. It's an impressive looking leather. It's squared off, but as it gets to the back, it rounds off. These large, it's very, very, the feel of the leather is really something else. Awesome. Now, these are definitely unique. So for those who don't know, this is a Norwegian hand welt, which is very waterproof. Okay, so the shoe is hand sewn with the stitches coming up, not just where they're regularly stitched on the welt, but up into the upper, creating this waterproof construction. Okay, so uh, most Goodyear welted shoes are already pretty waterproof. I mean, as someone who works on a lot of shoes and dunks a lot of shoes in water, you can submerge a shoe in water up to here and you're not gonna get anything inside, but this is just an added contingency against water, and it's caught on. Norwegian welts are some of the most popular you're gonna see online right now, and for good reason. They're beautiful, they're unique. Um, my only concern with Norwegian welts are that you might have a hard time finding someone who can do it for you, unless you send it back to CNS or another very competent cobbler. But the average cobbler is not going to be able, at least to, in my estimation, to know. They're not going to know how to how to resole this shoe. And this shoe is hand welted as well. But this is just beautiful. I've never owned a Norwegian welted shoe, and it is very nice. I, I gotta say, it, it, the braid here it has that rugged strength. In the, in, in the aesthetic. It's very strong, very rugged, but at the same time, it's regal. It's very sleek. It's very charming. Definitely a style you should look into if you haven't already. It's caught on and it's very popular and I can see why, uh, but absolutely breathtaking work. I mean, this is... Uh, man, I don't even feel like Cena should have sent me this shoe because I feel totally unworthy of it. But this is next level for sure. And if you know about Crocodile, you'll know they are not cheap. And this is not an inexpensive shoe. I mean, relatively inexpensive compared to what other brands will will, will, will actually uh, charge you for exotic Crocodile and, and, and reptiles. But it's more expensive than the average shoe. I'll just say that. Um, but very perfect construction. Very good work. The patina work is very nice. And like the other shoe, we're looking at the bottom here. It's the same type of, of uh, same type of sole that we're looking at. Closed channel stitching, same type of heel. And this, I don't want to call it an artificial bevel because it's not artificial. So it's a unique take. Um, I don't know what to call it. I'll look into it. But a very, very beautiful, unique take. And the color down here is, is beautiful mahogany that matches the upper. Can't praise this enough. I, I, I hope I don't sound disingenuous for them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making it up for the sake of the review. I am really stunned. Oh, these shoe trees are beautiful. What a nice color. Nice oxblood red. Very cool. Man, twin tubed. Love it. This is, these are definitely lasted. Look at that. That is definitely lasted for this shoe. So, very nice. Beautiful. The Norwegian welt. I don't I want to have to add a patina to these because these just look so beautiful. Everything is very, very well done. Now, I know at the Elegant Oxford, we're really dedicated to the mirror shine, but when it comes to hatch grain, I'm gonna make an exception and recommend you stick to normal shines and avoid adding too many layers of wax. The texture and intricacy of the hatch really precludes the process that results in a great mirror shine, and there's nothing wrong with that either. You should let the look of this rugged but casual leather do the talking instead. Of course, if you're really bent on adding a mirror shine, the toe area is smoother than the rest of the shoe, which should allow you to do that. A few applications of Saphir MDO cream polish and dark brown should do just fine. You can additionally add a layer or two of Pat Deluxe wax as well to add to the shine overall. Brush to a soft shine and enjoy them. The whole cut Oxfords require specialized but simpler care since they're made of crocodile skin. 
Saphir Reptin should be your first choice, but Napa Leather Balm for Delicates is also completely acceptable and okay. One or two applications is all you'll need. No wax or pigmented cream is needed since the color and texture of the exotic leather is the focal point here. Now, the Split Toe Derby is well balanced and built on the V-Last, which features a neutral instep and heel, meaning it should work well for most feet. The embossed hatch grain is sourced from the reputable French tannery Anone. Personally speaking, the shoes are comfortable and strike a great balance between beauty and wearability. $400 for a shoe built to these standards that's also hand welted is simply a fantastic deal. Most Goodyear welted shoes retail for that price and don't come with what you get here. The crocodile hole cuts definitely feature an aggressive and chiseled last that's a few inches elongated over the split toes, but you can't have a statement shoe like this on anything modest, clunky, or overly short. The 794 Last is also roomier along the vamp with more forgiving space in comparison to the V Last. These shoes retail for $1,600, which is not surprising considering Crocodile usually runs for double or triple that price. It's simply one of those exotic skins with a cult following that will always find eager owners willing to purchase them. In conclusion, I'm happy to report that CNES has taken their work to the next level. Their return to this channel features new details that improve upon a solid foundation already present in the models I saw last time. There are a lot of great brands to choose from out there, but it always makes me happy to see the few that really up the ante and push the boundaries of quality and price. I hope more brands follow suit and continue innovating in this regard, and I have no qualms in saying that US-based brands could learn a thing or two from shoemakers such as CNES. I'll see you next time.